Do it. To kill First off, lower cover. It must come off. Screw here. Put that in the cup holder. Uh, first thing you do of everything, disconnect the battery. Screw. This is a 2009 toilet Tacoma, as you can see up there. Get that thing out of the way. Ugh. This is a little backwards from what I'm used to where it comes to Volkswagens. Usually you have to have this lever selector all the way down in this. You have to have it up. Figure it out like that. Cause it's got a big old hole for it to fit in. So, you got the lower cover off. You'd really do better if you had two screws. Screwdrivers. Ta-da! There, so it comes off. This is a hook. And then this is a, a like slotted hook. You slide that in. So, don't pry from the back. Pry from the front. And then it'll be Looks like some Torx. There's a Torx screw. We'll again show it when we get it out. Good God. Things on there tight. There. Damn it, let go. to disconnect the clock spring pieces. There we go. Woo, didn't blow up my face. I like that. All right. So, again, two connectors. You got orange and a black. When you get the new clock spring in there, you will just plug them back in appropriately. When you disconnect the battery, you do want to make sure that you uh, let it sit for at least, as I said, 90 seconds. But I let it sit for like 10 minutes, 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Let all the capacitors kind of lose their charge. <laughs> so next we're going to take off the nut, this nut. This is what uh, holds the steering wheel on. So looks like a 19 or 20. So I'm going to go grab some wrenches. Uh, this is how the airbag is held on, these little plastic torques here you just when you take off these side covers off the steering wheel which is these that you already took off that's how you get into here so you do that after you take the lower cover off i'm actually still kind of wondering i know i'm going to need to take off the lower cover when i get the clock spring out i was like i don't know why i've taken off the lower cover already you could probably actually get away with taking the lower cover off after you've done all this and get the steering wheel off. It'll make the lower cover a lot easier to get off. So I'll probably put the lower cover back on before I put the steering wheel back on. I don't want to spill it in the seat. So we should go bloop. Let that dry, and then we're going to go one more down here. Bloop. And just kind of let it dry for a minute. So the last thing you want to do is drag it out and then it spread everywhere and you're like, no, no, it's everywhere. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there we go. Steering wheel is off. Okay. So here we are. We're looking at the clock spring. Let's unplug these bottom two connectors. One goes to the horn. The other one goes to the airbag, which... They try to make all the airbag connectors difficult to unclip for the express purpose that you should, typically shouldn't be unclipping them. I'm going to snap it back down so it'll hold itself still while I fight this clip. Oh, that's that. Aha. There we go. I see how it works. You gotta 
push this back clip up, and then you got to push this bottom clip in. It's convoluted. Let's get this. There we go. Ta da! Okay. Let me see if I can explain this one a little better. Right there. So, this one, there's a clip at the back. You gotta push this clip up. Like so. Okay, so take a screwdriver and push it up. And then, while you do that, you have to push this in. See how that's going in there? And when you do that, it'll push it. Bye, camera! <laughs> it'll push it out. So it'll push that out and it'll pop off. If we get it backwards, because it is keyed, so let's go back the other way. There we go. There. Alright. So this has got like a one way. Yeah, anyway. That's locked in place. I mean, it looks like you just break this thing off. Yeah, this is just holding it like that. I see. I see! This is probably a steering angle sensor. Alright. Let's get that in there. Ta da! That. We can put the airbag. That's in there. That's in there. Ta da! Then we pop that off. Alright! Well, that is the hard part. Now we want to put the steering wheel back through. up with our goopy marks. Yep, works. <laughs> good call, good call. Just didn't think about that. Uh, Alright, so we're going to need to scan the... I'm gonna wait, the, this cover will be the last thing that I do before I pull it out. I'm going to check the... Uh, scan the computer. Make sure the airbag does clear. Read fault code, clear fault memory. Yes. Fault memory clear complete. No DTCs. Turn the key off. Turn back on. And press on the clutch. Hey, no more airbag light. Rock on, boys. We did it.